opened in the 1950s, in 1952, and it focuses on Ellen Kingsley, who is going to work for the first day at a scientific institute, Gildersleeve Hall, near Cambridge in the English countryside. And she's a young female scientist just starting out on her career at a time when most scientists were men. She's going to work in a very male-dominated sphere. And she goes to work at Gildersleeve Hall. It's her dream to work there. And when she's there, several things happen to her. She falls in love and she also becomes involved in a tragedy, an unfolding tragedy and she comes into conflict with Dr. Marcus Farrow, who's the director of the Institute, and that changes her whole life. And it, uh, it um, pushes her in a way she didn't expect to go. Ellen's a very truthful person. Truth is very important to her when she comes up against people who aren't so truthful this changes her life as well and she has to learn to find her own path to keep to what she believes in. I've been writing for more than 25 years now so I suppose I'm partially writing for my readers but um, I also write for myself and I think I hope my readers like the sorts of book uh, that I like to read, that have a strong plot that keeps you turning the page and that have characters that you can become involved with, that you can relate to, that you care about. To me that's the most important thing in a book. I'm not, I don't mind so much what the book's about but I want to feel uh, involved with the main characters. They don't have to be all good or all bad. I think my characters are always a mixture. So I think I'm writing for, for the people who have uh, read my books over the years, but also for myself. Uh, well, both of my parents were scientists and they met at a scientific research institute in the English countryside in the late 1940s and that was where they met and fell in love and became engaged. My mother was a scientist like Ellen at a time when it, very few women were scientists um, and I think she had quite a battle having a career uh, especially when she married and had children. Um, uh, most of my family are scientists or they work with scientists and I'm one of the exceptions so I think I know a bit about scientists and I also thought it would be a bit different having a, a heroine who is in that field. Um, you tend, um, there were a lot of scientific heroines in crime novels but not so much in the sort of book that I, I write. Um, also the other personal thing is that part of the book is set in Scotland um, on a small island off the coast of Scotland called Seal. I've been married to a Scot for a long time now and I've travelled quite a lot in Scotland and I love the Scottish islands particularly. Um, Seal I visited to research for this book and it's a very unique place. I, I like islands, we've been to quite a few around the world and um, I like the way that they're so different from each other that a seal is a very small island but there's another even smaller island, Easdale, that you can walk around in an hour just off the coast and that still has it, they, the two islands have a different feel, a different atmosphere. So I was very taken with that and I wanted to include that in the book. I've started working on a new book and this one is set largely in southwest England in Devon by the coast and it focuses on a house and 
it's about what the house means to the family who live there. Some of them love it, some of them hate it, some of them will do anything to keep it. And also what, a, what effect the house has on those people. I think a person's surroundings and environment affect them. It affects the way they are, the sort of people they are. And I wanted to write about that. It, uh, it's about three generations. It starts in the First World War and finishes, I think it's in the 1970s. So this one has quite a wide time span. Um, and I'm really excited about it and looking forward to getting on with it. First of all, I'd like to say to my German readers, thank you for all your support over the years. Thank you for reading my books. It's meant a lot to me. Um, I'm really excited about the publication of The Turning Point and I hope you enjoy it.